Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today, as you probably guessed by the title of the video, I'm going to be cleaning the motorhome seats. Now, if some of you have seen my videos before, you'll know that I've got more years than I care to remember um, experience-wise of, of doing this job. I've cleaned cars and motorhomes probably for 30 years now and I'm um, still doing it. Got some good hints and tips uh, and what I do. I'd like to say, first of all, that everyone's got their own way of doing things. Um, in my experience, the way that I'm going to be showing you is the way that works best for me and uh, always has done right up until today, as we'll hopefully see. First of all, what I've done is I've used, uh, let me show you. Oh no, actually, let me, I've got, I'm not doing it on my own. I've got a friend who's helping me, George. We've been cleaning cars for, again, a, a, a long time. George is, uh, won't, won't come on camera, is a little bit little bit shy but um come on just for two two seconds it's feeling a little bit green at the moment but george don't want to be on camera but anyway all right here look look say hello george so that's george me and george have been working together for a long time actually george has got an attachment missing a little hoover pipe that uh we used to have like a a little uh little attachment that sucks it up uh, better than that is um, what we've been using for years, but anyway, that, that disappeared. So um, anyway, back to what I was saying. So this is the setup that I'd like to show you. And this is what all I use anyway to, to do the job with. I always keep a microfiber cloth at hand. These are always these are always handy, just for wiping up little bits of, bits that you spill, or just a good all rounder, basically, this little cloth is. This little one is good for scrubbing in the little grooves that you maybe uh, can't get the, bigger brush into the bigger brush is obviously for the bigger jobs or the larger services so um, it all works what I've got in here is about uh, a quarter I've gone up to there with auto glim auto glim um, I'll put a little put a little picture up somewhere there or there of what it was I haven't got it with me sorry but I've got a little secret this little trick I've used for a long time and it really does really does work especially if you've got pets this stuff here is godsend Zaflora fresh home odor remover and disinfectant disinfectant with pictures of animals on it as you can see so all this stuff is is concentrated and it's strong all I've done there is I've put a couple of capfuls in amongst that and then topped it up with warm lukewarm water so that's it. So basically you've got your Oglim interior cleaner there, warm water, a couple of capfuls of that, and that's it. When we took when I took the covers off of the seats, oh my god. Look at the state of that. I'm not too worried about all of this. This will all come off, but as you can see here, these are stains that have gone through the seat covers or the blankets that we use for the dogs. And there, obviously, is a different colour than what it should be. So hopefully we'll, see, we'll get some results out of that. Anyway, I'd like to show you how it's done or how I do it. Uh, so let's get to work. Okay, so that's all the dog hairs off and all the uh, little bits of mud that they tread on there and um, the food and everything. So now we'll apply the chemical and I'll show you exactly how we do that. other little tips first of all don't worry about getting it too wet don't worry about spraying too much on there it will always dry in the end obviously if you're doing it in the summer then it's much better it will uh, dry a lot quicker and a lot easier in the winter with the moisture and everything just run a lead out run a run a lead somewhere plug in a fan heater crack your windows open a little bit to let the moisture escape and uh, it'll always dry in the end but don't worry about getting it too obviously don't soak it just give it enough so that when you 
scrub it with your brush it brings up a nice little foam i did it in the carpet video cleaning video if you want to look for that one it's it's there somewhere and a couple of other little tips as well i would always recommend using gloves i'm not at the moment i should be but i ain't got any and also when you're when you're applying the spray try and give the whole seat a nice even cover i've not finished myself yet at this stage but uh you know try and get the whole seat in everywhere every single inch of the seat because if you don't it'll end up dry and patchy so um if you sort of hold the gun the same distance away all over try and cover as much as area as possible even down the sides there underneath there around the other side around there so you'll have to go outside and work from the outside in which is really the right way to do it anyway and um yeah just as long as you get all of the seat covered and then it will dry evenly as well if you want to do the back of your seat as well just do it don't worry about it just get it on there scrub away and wax it up that's what we're looking for That's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so that's the majority of the job done. We've been left with a couple of little stains that uh, I'm gonna have to try and get out. So you see one there and one there. I don't know what they are, but in this case, what I would do is just get a little bit of, um, tiny little bit of neat solution and uh, just put it on your brush, the little brush there, and then just uh, scrub it at close, just like that, working it in a round motion little bit up and down like that and um, we should be able to get that out so let's see. okay so job done I'm pleased with that Come up, uh, come up really nice actually there was some pretty bad stains in it what i've done is i've left the heating on i'm plugged in fortunately so i can leave some heating on i'm going to leave the heating on for a couple of hours three hours then i've got to take the van back to storage um and i can't do it before dark so so whilst trying to do that um with one hand and trying to film it i've probably forgot a lot of things but um i'll try and uh, put as much as i can in the de description below so you can have a little look through there and see um if i did forget anything which i probably did and another handy little tip with this stuff it won't hurt it doesn't hurt if you put a, a little cap full in your toilet cassette put a cup full of water in with it slosh it around leave it in there for a couple of hours pour it out rinse it out and then you'll be surprised of the lovely little smell that it leaves when you next walk in your van and the same with uh same with your plug holes as well cup full down there little just a little a little lid full pour it down there and leave it and then uh, yeah when you walk in your van the next time you'll be surprised of the smell it absolutely does. it smells lovely and I've used it for a while now so hope that little tip helps anyway I hope you enjoyed that little video uh, thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so and um, I'll see you in the next video